Hello! In today's lesson, we are looking at Chapter 11, Section 4, Circumference and Arc Length. Our objectives are to find the circumference of a circle and the length of the circular arc, and use circumference and arc lengths to solve problems. Circumference. The circumference of a circle is the distance around the circle. Arc length. An arc length is a portion of the circumference of a circle. So when we're looking at arc length, we're only looking at a small part of the circle. Think about it as the crust of a pizza pie. Theorem 11.6, circumference of a circle. The circumference C of a circle is C equals pi times D, or C equals 2 pi R, where D is the diameter of the circle and R is the radius of the circle. Example 1, using circumference. A. Find the circumference of a circle with radius 9 inches. This one's easy. All you have to do is plug in your radius of 9 inches into the formula for circumference, which is 2 pi r, and then evaluate. 2 times 9 is 18 times pi, which when you plug into the calculator gives you approximately 56.55, so the circumference is about 56.55 inches. B. Find the diameter of a circle with a circumference of 58 inches. In this one, we're given the circumference and we need to solve for the diameter. So start again by writing the formula. This time, since we're looking for the diameter, we're going to use the circumference is equal to pi times diameter. Where circumference goes, we're going to plug in what we know about it, which is 58 inches, and solve for the diameter by dividing both sides by pi. 58 divided by pi is approximately 18.46, so our, the diameter is about about 18.46 inches. All right, checkpoint problems number one and two are yours. For each of these problems, find the indicated measure. For problem one, find the circumference of the circle with diameter 25 centimeters. And problem two, find the radius of the circle when your circumference is 70 feet. Arc length corollary. In a circle, the ratio of the length of a given arc to the circumference is equal to the ratio of the measures of the arc to 360 degrees. So if I were to find the arc length of a circle, which is the part over here that's the crust of the pie, we would take the ratio of the arc length of arc AB, put it over the formula to find the length of the entire circle, which is 2 pi r, which is your circumference, and set that equal to part of the arc length, which is the measure of arc AB, over the total degrees in a circle, which is 360 degrees. Or, since we're looking for the arc length, we can cross multiply to isolate for the arc length of AB, and our equation will be the measure of arc AB over 360 degrees times the entire circumference of the circle, which is 2 pi r. The way I look at this formula is I'm looking at part of the crust of my pizza pie, which is the measure of arc AB over the entire measure of the circle, which is 360 degrees times 2 pi r, so part over whole times the circumference of the circle since I'm looking for length. Example 2, finding arc lengths. Find the length of each arc. In A, I know that my central angle has a measure of 70 degrees, so the measure of arc AB is equal to the measure of my central angle, which is 70 degrees. I need to find the measure of the arc AB. So I know it's part over whole, so it's 70 degrees over 360 degrees, and since I'm finding length, it's going to be times 2 pi r, which my radius over here is 4. Simplify and plug this into your calculator. You get that the measure of the arc length for AB is approximately 4.89 millimeters. B, I'm given that my central angle is 100 degrees, which means that the measure of arc CD is also 100 degrees. To find the arc length, I'm going to take part, which is 100, divided by the whole, which is 360. And since this is length, I know I'm going to use the formula for circumference, which is 2 pi r, where r is 7, so it's going to be 7. Simplify this and plug this into your calculator. You get that the arc length of CD is 12.22 millimeters. For C, my central angle is 140 degrees, which means that the measure of the arc EF is 140 degrees. To find the arc length EF, I'm going to take part, which is 140 over the whole, which is 360. Since I'm finding arc length, it's times 2 pi r, where my radius is 6. Simplify it, plug it into the calculator, it's 14.66 millimeters. 
All right, checkpoint problems number three and four are yours. In problem three, find the length of arc AB. And problem four, find the length of arc MN. Example three, using circumference. We have tricycles. The diagram at the right shows two tires from a tricycle. How many revolutions does each tire make while traveling 250 feet? Round answers to one decimal place. We know that the larger tire has a diameter of 20 inches. Its circumference is pi times 20, or about 62.83 inches. The smaller tire has a diameter of 16 inches. Its circumference is pi times 16, or about 50.27 inches. To find the number of revolutions made, divide the distance the tricycle travels by the tire circumference. Each tire travels a distance of 250 feet. The larger tire has a circumference of 62.83 inches. Convert the feet to inches first before you simplify. We know that one foot has 12 inches, so 250 feet is 250 times 12, which gives me 3,000 inches. We know that it's going to be 3,000 inches divided by 62.83 inches, which gives us approximately 47.7. To find the number of revolutions for the smaller tire, take 250 feet divided by the circumference, which is 50.27. Remember, before we can do our division, we need to convert our units so that we have the same units. We convert feet to inches. 250 feet is the same as 3,000 inches. Divide that by 50.27, and you get that is approximately 59.7. So the larger tire makes about 47.7 revolutions in 250 feet, and the smaller tire makes about 59.7 revolutions in 250 feet. Alright, that's it from me. I'll see you all soon.